Hey David, I've got a question for you. I'm a streamer. I'm trying to really connect with my community on a deeper level and I don't know what to do. Well, that's a great question. Uh, have you heard of Discord? I actually have Discord, but every channel I've been in, it's kind of sucks. And it's probably because you're in Discords that aren't set up correctly. And what do I need to do to set up my Discord server correctly? I'll tell you right now. There are three things that we need to focus on when making a really effective Discord server. And the first one is to focus on conversation. This is huge. If you're creating a Discord server, you want to connect with your community and there's no better way to do that than through real conversation. So make your server a place that people can do that, where they can feel safe to converse, where they can feel safe to express their opinion, where you are expressing interests, concerns, happiness, joy, even frustrations about things happening in your community. Now, I don't know about you, I've jumped into a couple servers where conversation has absolutely died. And in those servers, I don't feel comfortable talking. And that's gonna be how most people treat your server. If when someone jumps into your server for the first time, if they're being invited to your server from your stream, from your YouTube video, from your content, anywhere on the internet, and they jump in and no one's talking, chances are they're not gonna talk. So you wanna prevent that. You wanna do everything you can to keep the conversation going. Conversation is key. One of the best ways to do that is just to simply greet everyone that jumps into your server. When someone jumps in, you can receive a notification. Hey, such and such is brand new to the server. Say, hey, Bill, how you doing? Welcome to the server. So glad you can make it and drive the conversation. Something you're gonna have to do for a while too, especially until your server takes off is drive conversation. Ask questions. Hey guys, what did you think of the latest Apex update? Hey guys, what did you think of this? game. Hey guys, if any of you tried this, hey, how you doing today? How's your Wednesday? Anybody got any big plans for the weekend? Drive conversation, drive discussion, help people talk, make talking the culture of your server. The next big principle you're always going to want to keep in mind when creating your Discord server and setting it properly is to have clarity of purpose. Now, what is your purpose? Are you a streamer? Are you, is your community coming from a stream? Is your community sent around a game or a console, like an Xbox, a PC, a PlayStation? Maybe maybe you're an Apex streamer, maybe you're a content creator that does vlogs and it's centered around that. Maybe you do travel stuff and it's centered around traveling. When someone jumps into your server, it needs to be laid out in such a way that it is clear what the purpose is. If you're a podcast, it needs to be about the things that you talk about in your podcast. If you're a streamer, figure out ways to make it about your stream, the things that you stream, the games that you stream, things that your community is interested in needs to be clear, it needs to be upfront. Clarity of purpose goes a long way to making sure that you are running a successful Discord and that Discord is helping you connect with your community. Clarity of purpose is key. The next one, and this is probably the most important big feature to focus on when setting up a server and making sure you're doing it properly, and this is simplicity. Now, the very cool thing about Discord is there is so many features. There's so many things you can do. You can add games, you can add bots that do all kinds of cool stuff, you can add music, movie stuff, video game stuff. You can add anything that you want. If you want to do it, there's probably a bot that's been created out there for you to utilize, to throw into your server. There's something that you can do. There's tons of categories. You can separate your, your Discord server into all these different categories. Simplicity. Simplicity is the key. You don't want someone to jump into your server and be overwhelmed. Furthermore, the more complex your server becomes, the less likely it is a takeaway from principle number one, and that is conversation. You want conversation to be the key. You want to be building a community. You don't want to be confusing your community. Simplicity, keep it simple, stupid, right? Isn't that a saying? That's a saying, that's a saying, right? Keep it simple, stupid, isn't that a, isn't that a saying? I don't know, it's, a, it's now a saying. I just said it. Simplicity is the key to having a successful Discord. Now that we have those overarching principles in mind, as you're setting up your Discord, let's talk about what channels you make. Now channels in Discord are basically separate forums for individual topics. Now you've probably been in a lot of service servers that have tons and tons and tons of topics, anything from movies and then they dive into detailed movies, TV shows, books, music, every single video game on the planet is listed. Let's say that you are a streamer that focuses on Apex Legends. Maybe you, all you do is stream Apex Legend or you or you create content just for Apex Legend. In your server, I would probably have a welcome channel. You want you always want a welcome channel. You want a place where people can jump in for the first time and see, hey, 
These are the rules. These are who's welcome. This is what this server is about. Your welcome channel has your purpose clearly stated. Then I would have a general chat. This general chat I would have open to everybody. This is where the majority of your conversation is going to take place. This is where you can talk about everything and anything. That's what general is. After that, the, ch the different channels that I would add would depend on what your focus is. So if you're an Apex Legends streamer, I would probably have uh, an LFG channel where people can come in and look for games and, and team up with each other. I would probably have a theory channel. Uh, this is where rumor or a rumor channel. This is where rumors and different theories about the future, maybe the next season of Apex. This is where that discussion takes place. And then I would have a clip channel. I would have a place where people could upload their clips, upload their highlights and show off their coolest moves, something like that. Uh, uh, maybe maybe even, a, maybe you call it a self-promotion channel, but I wouldn't get too carried away with the channels, right? Think of channels this way. Every time you add a channel, you're segmenting your discussion. Remember, purpose one, we want to be driving discussion. We want to get to know our community and our community gets to know each other. We want to build those bonds and Discord's great at that. But if you add too many channels, you can start to, uh, that starts to take away from that. Take a lot of thought, take a lot of consideration into what channels you want and then separate them out. Now, if you're someone that already has a Discord server, maybe you've added too many channels. Just take them away. People aren't going to miss them. I just take them away. You can look and see, well, if someone's not commented in this channel in the last week, it probably needs to go. Now let's talk about the big monster in the room. Let's talk about bots. Let's end on bots. Bots are really cool. Bots can be helpful. Bots can also be very distracting. Bots can kill a channel basically overnight, right? Just go jump into some bigger channels, jump into channels, uh, and in channels where there are a lot of bots, chat is dead. In channels where there are a lot of bots sending notifications, hey, this and that, and people are typing in commands and then something happens and points are being given and currency is being given, funny jokes are being had and music is being listed, there is no conversation happening and the community is not growing. Instead, bots have taken over. That is a server for bots, not for people. My rule of thumb, stick to one, if you have to, two bots, if you need a feature that you don't have, and then use bots to make your life easier, not to distract from conversation. You don't want bots constantly listing in Discord. You want bots to help your life. So if you set your Discord up in a way that uh, members only get access to certain channels, let Download a bot that automatically does that in the background for you, helps make your life a little bit easier. Maybe you download a statistic bot that tracks how active your Discord is, what are the most common words used, stuff like that. Maybe there's a bot tied to the game that you use. I would limit myself to bots and I would not get carried away. Again, bots are channel killers. Bots are Discord killers. Lots of cool features. A lot of people overuse them. Don't get sucked into the trap of having too many bots. The name of the game in community building is community. And Discord is a great place to build that community. Discord is gonna be a great tool to help you connect with your community on a deeper level. If you wanna see an example of a great server, come check out the Clutch server. We've got one, a link is in the description below. If you like this video, we've got a lot more coming. Check them out, uh, you can click them. There, I think they're over here. Click them right now, <laughs> go check them out. Clutch is about helping you grow your community in 2020. We're helping you do that. Check it out. Another great place to grow the community is also on Clutch. Come join the Clutch app, and we'll see you guys next time.